how are you today hi everyone i just wanted to make this video because i feel you know i feel like it's really important to support independent brands um uh, especially in today's time where people are you know able to have their own channel we got the social media thing where we can connect with people from across the world from you know just everywhere it's really cool for people to we're able to reach people, we're able to talk to people. I I don't know if it was Botswana that I was talking to somebody from once about, we literally was texting back and forth um, on Facebook about hair care and, you know, it was almost as if she was right around the corner, but it's really cool how you can connect with somebody from way across the world and reach them and whatever. And we I was just telling her about different vitamins to take for her hair, how to grow it out, stuff like that. Cause my hair do has it does have a tendency to grow pretty long it's just that it's hard for me you know once it gets past a certain point i get really stressed out my hair stresses me out when it's that long so but i feel like social media in this day and time is really great because that's definitely something you can use it for you can use it use it as a platform to like um tell your story and just reach people me personally i actually um I'm a writer and I wrote my children's book in 2018 and every time I go out to sell it people buy it somebody even you know wanted to put it on the news and so the next time I went out to sell it to somebody else they was like oh I saw this on the news I'm like well cool you know <laughs> but um I really you know and for me personally I say support these type of businesses because I feel like you don't have to be rich and famous to have something important to say. You don't have to be rich and famous to have a message. And for me, you know, I wrote the children's book because my mother passed away in 2017. And it was really hard on my family. It was hard on me. It was hard on my sister. My dad snapped. You know, it was hard on us. So, and I said to myself, I said, hold it. You know, if it's really hard for us and we're all grown, I can just imagine what kids would go through. So I, you know, basically um, went ahead and, you know, wrote a book, you know, dealing with it on how to cope. And it's actually not a sad book. It's actually a happy book. Um, I actually wrote it underneath a studio name because I don't want to be famous or anything like that. I don't want to be known. I don't want to, you know, I don't want stuff like that. I just want to get my message out. I, that's not going to be my last book, of course, but, you know, definitely get this off the ground. Excuse my face. It's a little shiny, you know, gave myself a facial. Sorry. But yeah. And um, I also want to talk about how important it is to support uh, like uh, local businesses, you know, um, and, and, and I'm not saying buy something just to buy something. I'm saying like you really connecting uh, with that line that is actually because I live here in Philadelphia. There's actually a clothing line, you know, here in Philadelphia that I'm going to start supporting because um, I was hoping that they didn't, they didn't go out of business. I think it's called Streetwise or something like that. It was actually pretty cool. Seemed like a real nice um, and it's colorful and stuff like that. And you guys, I just need to let you know that you know, a lot of these big corporations steal from little people, okay? There are, you know, there is a clothing line right now, fashion, I'm not going to say the whole name, but been accused of stealing from people or, you know, stealing from an independent line. I'm sorry, but I don't respect that. You know, just because it's something that's popular, that doesn't mean that I'm, you know, I, that, that, should, that doesn't mean that people should support it. Because if people are doing stuff shysty, if they're, you're overworking your uh, your workers, if you're, you know, ripping off other, you know, in, you know other uh, artists, basically, you know, stuff like that is not right, you know. And how about you just support the people who is original with it, you know. And I don't know if you, and I'm quite sure if you remember, you know, that, um, that uh um what's it that movie in dream girls where cadillac car that move that not the movie but the uh the song was stolen do they not do they still not do that today and yet people still support these artists and stuff like that and how about people support you know the real artists you know the real people who you know something happened to them in their life 
and this happened right here and they put this out and they put all their heart and soul into it and i just think that it's really disrespectful for you know bigger companies to do that and take all this credit and make all this money when it's this person over here who started it so that's something that really touched me um um and my book actually really touched its other people and i really appreciated it like i remember my boss had bought two of my books and he said um what did he say to me he said uh no he actually read it and was crying it made him cry but it was a happy book you know, it was something that's to make you feel good even when you lose somebody. And it was a children's book. And he was crying and I said, oh, get me all warm and tired. But anyway, you know, that's the point. You know, it's about, you know, you being touched by the art that somebody puts out. And a lot of times you'll be touched by the art that somebody puts out. But it's not original. It's not something that's original. Which brings me to this next artist that I want to uh, just put out there um i uh been watching um a couple of videos about black chat it's um i think i watch a i think i watch a fresh one was it? i don't know i don't know how long it's been on air but all i know i just found it not too long ago and it's just pretty interesting it's like black british people or something like that and just I, I love stuff like that because I feel like it's a window into other people's lives. And that just lets us know that regardless, we might talk different, we might have different slang, this and that, but at the end of the day, we're exactly the same. And it was just this young, one young man that he's talking about his life and talk about things that happened. And I want to support him. And I hope y'all support him too. His name is Castillo. And um, I listened to some of his um, music. It's pretty cool. But I did, however, buy one of his t-shirts. And hopefully he will make some for women because I need a V-cut. Hopefully this fits me. I get got this in the small because this is uh, like a men's size. This is a small, but I thought that I may be able to fit it. I hope I'll be able to fit this because I'm like a 38 triple D. So we're going to hope that I could fit this. But if not, I'm just going to have to order another one. Get this to my son. But yeah, he got some nice sayings on there. He's actually like pretty, he's pretty comical at times. And I think there's, you know, people who are like comical, who's not trying to be. That's when they're the most funny. And that's kind of how he is a little bit. Um, But yeah, check check that out and uh yeah support independent businesses goodbye